morning. My name is uh, Cheezer Danny. He writes, Hi, I'm one of your biggest fans. I was wondering if you could do a video on why people are so addicted to the video games. Thanks. Smile face. I just want you to know that the accent may be hard to listen to for you, but for me, it's like a headache inside of a headache. Today, why are video games so addicting? Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Why are video games so addictive? Could be a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. But first and foremost, researchers at the University of Rochester investigated what motivates gamers to continue playing a game. And what they've come up with is actually quite obvious. Uh, video games satisfy basic physiological needs of human beings. Players continue to play because the games reward them for play. It gives them freedom from the mundane retardedness of their everyday lives and allows them to connect with people within the game in ways that they've never connected with people before, electronically. That is to say, not at all sexually. That's why online role-playing games are the most addictive, because in a sense, you become your character, and your character does all these fantastic things that you can't do, and then you just wanna be that guy! But you can't, you can't, because the Matrix isn't real. But if it is, find me, I'm over here! <laughs> and we're back in the room. Here is a true story. In law school, I had a friend named Oliver, and Oliver loved to play Neverwinter Nights. Loved it. One night, Friday night, I call Ollie up, and I go, hey Oliver, a couple of us are getting together, we're gonna go down to Mechanigans. They have a fantastic happy hour menu where you get a hamburger and fries for two buck fifty. The onion rings for another two fifty. Everything on the menu is two dollars and fifty cents. You know what Ollie says to me? You know what he says? Ooh. Yeah, you know, I can't make it. I am getting together with some people online and we're gonna slay this dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that? Oliver, let me, let me see if I understand this correctly, Oliver. You are passing on hanging out with real people in a real setting with real food, chatting about real life shit to go online with your friends online and kill a dragon? Yeah. That's pretty much what I'm saying. That is quite possibly the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. You could get laid here, buddy. Hmm, <sighs> yeah. Obviously, you've never slayed a dragon. It's way better than getting laid. How do you play this game? I want to know how to play it. Final summation. Video games are addictive because your life is shitty. As soon as you figure out that your online life is way cooler than your regular life, that's the one you want to live. Unfortunately, you can't. Unless you live in your parents' basement, surrounded by TV screens and pornography lotion. I love you, my little lemon drops. Join us again on Friday, when we continue our very important work.